Hi guys, welcome. This is Left Yam. It's the ISO builder. And somebody's asking about, well, screens, dual screens. And I can't live without dual screens anymore. Being it on Mac or Windows or, or Linux, it has to be, right, these wealth of real estate of pixels. Okay, that was a container. What I want to address is what sometimes is just simply available Control alt m is in often of our desktops cinnamon um, gnome plasma xfce so d the desktops they have often a button in their setting somewhere about the display and here it is display and here you can decide if you want to mirror even the refresh rate you can do all kinds of things you can set but basically what we often do is tell okay this one is number one so that's to the left the other one is number two that's to the right so that our cursor can really go from left to right not vice versa so that's one of the things we do and uh, so the 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 changing in the in the um, the numbering here so that we really can go from one from the left to the right now well let's just cancel because it's not applied so nothing changes and the mirror down here now this is xfce so i launched something inside left wm that never can work because because left wm has nothing to do with xfce but this machine is a machine with cinnamon gnome left wm plasma and xfce on it right they all work together nicely together and there are no problems whatsoever but we're on left LVM. how did i make sure that the left screen is actually to my left and the right screen is actually to my right with notch there is an application you can install a render and a render is interesting in the sense that it's still something graphical you can actually also drag from here to here as you see of course we have to drag a little bit probably a little bit back there yeah yeah getting there getting there getting there voila so you can drag this around when you have the layout that you want you say save as and if you save as i have here just the name so inside my home slash eric dot screen layout so folder in there is an eric.sh so a shell script I'm not gonna mess up my settings but I'm gonna show you what's inside screen layout eric.sh and let's move it to the other screen we don't want this anymore this where does this come from well that's the the, the thing that I saved the a render whatever you change and and and, and uh, let's do this again because there's maybe something else that's interesting whatever you select here as well active primary resolution anything like these all these settings they end up in a code simple as that they end up in a script and man x render go read right go read What's there to know about XRender? It's a primitive command line interface to a render extension used to set the size, orientation, and so on, verbose, and so on, query, dry run, no grab screen, all kind of stuff, long list of stuff. Now, if you just type XRender, you get already some information. It detects some things. It detects that I have an HDMI zero, and it detects a DP display port zero. Oh, okay. So what's is it's up here? It's DVIDO. So off. So this actually I don't need. But it's it's a this is a result of a render, right? And output HDMI. Yeah, that's correct. So this is one is disconnected. That's true and then we go to the right so hdmi primary mode 1920 1080 position there rotate normal output this ah, a new output dp0 dp0 mode again my pixels and the position 
So this tells them that guy is to the left and that guy is to the right. I rotate normal output again, something that I don't have. DP minus one down here and HDMI disconnected. So that's the result of running a render. So now I have something that I can launch every single time I can actually run this thing. Yes, it's a command, right? It executes a command. So I can run eric.sh. And voila, I hope the video is still working. Everything was black on my end, but everything is fine now. Now I need to tell whatever tiling window manager I am on, doesn't really matter what I'm on, to how to start that. I have knowledge available on all the websites plus our host engine called YouTube, right? So I want to auto start something. Maybe there is something available about auto starting. How to auto start the conkey? How to auto start any application on any Linux desktop? That looks like a winner, right? Installing Plank, conkey toggle, and so on. Installing Stacer. Now don't give up if you don't if you think ah right didn't find anything. There's another guy. Let's see if there's something in here as well. Auto. Oh my God. Auto start. There it is. <laughs> and enter. How to auto start application LXQT like Plank. So again, with 26 desktops, you have different challenges. And you want to auto start something in Xmonad, for example, here, or just Plank. And Plank is really for every every single yeah every single desktop a little bit less for tiling window managers but it's possible plasma seems to auto start applications and so on auto start conkeys auto start planky i mean there seems to be a lot of information about auto starting okay so you go, go and have a look i'm gonna see if this is working how to auto start any application any linux desktop sounds good you need to have one file in your car. Move to your config auto start, make a desktop file, copy paste the code, see beneath, change the exact line. Oh, is that simple? Yes. So, auto start config, found it. Auto start, auto start, auto start, there it is. I have already my X render desktop, bus, so this one is gonna be called test.desktop, right? It's empty. It's empty. Let's open it with Visual Studio Code. Control V. Desktop entry, it's an application. No, it's actually XRender. And execute your action. Ah, my action is situated in the home, in Eric, in, now I have to think, I think it's called screen layout and then eric.sh, I think. Right? Startup notify false terminal false. Now, to be really sure, I'm gonna check again. We can't make any typos and any errors, of course. So, dot screen on layout is okay and eric.sh looks like i've made no mistakes so every single time and and that's with 26 desktops right some of them will just look at the auto start folder and launch everything in there others you have to tell go launch that particular script so in your auto start or in your auto configuration or what sorry, whatever the name is, on the, often a tiling window manager, whatever it's called, you need to be able, you need to think about, I need to launch that. If that works, all you need to do is at boot time, go run that, go run that, go run that. Often it's just solved, but not always, it's just solved by just saying, look, 
I'm going to save a test dot desktop or any other name, right? It's just gonna launch everything that's in here. I wanna have Conkey, a Discord needs to be launched, Dropbox needs to be launched, all these guys are down here. They're present, they will be launched, and XRender will be launched twice now. So it doesn't hurt me a bit. Just does do it, it will do it twice. Variety is there, Flickman and Clipman is there. So that's one way of doing it. Everything is now done, it's finished, it works. But let's see. Here they talk about copy paste. Yeah, that's also a good idea. Config auto start. So if you are tired of auto starting, starting each, uh, every time you boot up, you need to boot up Firefox, right? For example, okay, Firefox is in here, right? So control C, go to Eric, go to config, go to auto start, copy, control V, eh? control C, control V. What happens? Firefox will be launched, simple as that. Like I made the choice to start up and have Discord ready and Dropbox and have InSync, so Google uh, Drive um, application. I make choices and I put them in auto start and say, go launch this thing. But again, right, again, it all matters where you are, what you do, because I'm on the tiling with a manager. This is left WM. So it's a little bit different. And every single tiling winner manager, you go to Arconix D. Learn about Qtile. Just take another one. The 24 articles about all these things and how to start or it's going to be in there. Where's the configuration? Where can we find the Qtile configuration? It's all described already. Okay, so you need to go dive into the, the knowledge that we provide already. Now, just for left WM lovers, left WM, it's here. We have here all kinds of things. In left WM, it's concentrated in the theme. Often it's not that, but here it is. And here we have a very simple script that says up everything. Ah, if you wanna up everything, then maybe that's interesting to tell up this, up that, up the network applet. So uh, this little guy, right? Up PAMAC tray, so that's this guy, and so on. So if you wanna up your own script, you can do it with a path like this. But I'm showing you just the possibilities because not all tiling window managers love this. Well, this everybody should this should work for everybody, I would think. But this might work as well. Try. What might work as well sometimes is a dollar home. Uh, dollar, dollar home might work from times to time. So you experiment what's possible in your particular tiling window manager. But if I want to launch that, that's how I would do it. Do it. All right, not finished. <laughs> control Z, Control Z, Control Z. Uh, done, nothing changed. I've shown you two ways. Third way, there is the Arconex tweet tool, Control Alt E. Since we wanted an easier way for people on tiling when I manage to be able to auto start, we have the auto start. Let's first go back to the config and then auto start. Here it is. So test, that was the one, right? So in sync, check. I have now two, the same things here, I see. All right, in sync, that's guy. I'm conky, that's the guy. It's not active. It's there, it's not working. Variety is there, it is working. Discord is there, it's working. Test is working. And so on. What if I wanted to create a new one? Teach, command, I don't know. 
Kigali. Comments, not necessary, blah, blah. Add. What did we do? We created a file, this one and this one. Both of them have been created. Let's compare. A little bit difference in code. But basically, it's give it a name, a comment, execute something. Execute home, Eric, screen, layout, Eric, all ZH. So I can type everything as well here. Instead of Vivaldi, say, boom, I'll just take everything and that will be working as well. And then try execute Vivaldi and some stuff for GNOME Art to start enable true that we've added in the Arclex 2 e tool. So that's another way of doing things. I do notice now there is a possibility to improve things. And why? Because the thingy we made is created by root. You see, Eric, 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 root. So that's something we can this I can embellish, can improve. But basically, if you say cl just click here, it's gone anyway. So it does not have a high priority to change that. So in here, it's another way of creating something. And um, it's still, of course, necessary to tell what command. So home Eric slash dot screen layout slash, slash start sh. And it will be working as well. The comment is unimportant. Et voila, you have three ways now to auto start applications. But think about it. Not every desktop, 26 of them, not every desktop is going to look inside this. Some of them just say, whatever, right? Never going to launch anything that's in there. So then you have to go inside the file somewhere of a tiling window manager, for example, and have a look. How do they launch these things? How are these things down here launched? And have a look in i3 and, and, and so on and so on. All right, hope this helps. There are three videos now about auto starting and many articles. All right, cheers.